Hi, I'm Rick with Good Time Camping. Here lately I've gotten a lot of questions about how you use a percolator. Seems like that's a uh, dying art. Um, so what we're going to do today is show you how to use the percolator. And you can do this over a camp stove, over a uh, campfire, over your uh, stove in your travel trailer, or your stove at home. So uh, let's get into it. First we'll start with the things that we need. Uh, right here we can see that today we're going to do it on a camp stove. We have our percolator. This one's a stainless steel. Uh, the parts for this are also going to need, you're going to need the stem and if I can get her in there, our basket and our lid. And some other things we're going to need. We're going to need, well, coffee and a filter. This is optional. Some people don't use them. I don't like a whole lot of grounds in my coffee, so I try to use one. And we're going to need some water. I like to either use a... Uh, purified water, or spring water, or even a distilled water. Uh, the better your water, the better your coffee is going to taste. Now for your coffee, you need to have at least a medium grind, or even a coarse grind. The finer the grind that you have, the more grounds you're going to have in your coffee. So at least a medium grind. So today we're going to be making uh, five cups of coffee. So first we'll put some water in here and let's just open this up and we'll fill this as a 10 pot, 10 cup pot so we'll fill it up about halfway. I'm not going to be precise. Alrighty. Now if you're making a full pot of coffee there's usually a fill line inside, it's hard to see here, but you definitely, I don't know if you can see here, but there are some holes for the spout and you don't want to go above the holes in that spout or it'll boil over. Alright, next we're going to uh, put the filter in. And we're going to need to put a little hole in there. So what I like to do is I just uh, fold it over. And again. And again. Make a little point there. Then I just snip off the end a little bit. And there we go. And we just put that over the top of the stem and we just put it in there. Now they do make a filter that fits these, but it's just it just goes on the bottom. I like these filters because it also goes up the side, so you get a lot less grounds in your coffee. And next, let's uh, put our coffee in. Now, I like to use about a tablespoon for each cup. Um, some people like two for each cup. It depends on how strong you like your coffee. This is what usually works for me. All right, there we go. And then we just put the lid on top of that. Okay, the next thing we'll just put the basket inside the pot, like that, make sure that's down, and shut the lid. Now we'll put it on the stove. Okay, let's go ahead and fire up the stove.
All right, we want to put it on a nice hot flame and let's get it started perking. All right, that took about two minutes. Now we'll turn it down. And what we want to do is we want to slow that percolator down. Let's get it down to where it's... We don't want to boil the coffee to death. We just want it to let it do its job. All right, that looks good. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I got a timer set for uh, eight minutes, and we're going to start that. And well, maybe I'm going to start it. There we go. Now I found that the way I like it, it takes between seven and nine minutes. But you'll have to play around with it and uh, see how long it takes to uh, make the coffee that you enjoy. There she is, she's perking away. We still have uh, about, let's see. Five minutes left. I tell you, it smells wonderful out here. And that's one of my favorite things at the campground is getting up early and making that first pot of coffee and smelling other people uh, making coffee throughout the campground frying up bacon. That's one of the reasons I go camping. And uh, once you've made a few pots of percolated coffee, you'll know exactly how much coffee you like and uh, how long you like to percolate it. And you'll have the perfect cup every time. Let's see how long we got left now. Um, we got two minutes. All right. Now, when you're percolating coffee, it doesn't matter what kind of stove you're using or a campfire. If you're using a uh, campfire, you would start it off on a uh, where there's high heat, and after it starts percolating, just pull it back away from the fire. It works exactly the same way. There's no difference at all. All right, there we go. It's been eight minutes. Turn that off. All right, now we'll take it off the flame. Just set it right over here and turn this off. All right, this is a very important part. Just wait, two minutes. And what that'll do is that'll let that coffee drain through those grounds and get out of the top. So when you pour your first cup of coffee, you won't get grounds in there. After that two minutes, then you can either pull out the basket, just make sure you use a pot holder or something because it's very, very hot, or you can just carefully pour yourself a cup of coffee, which is what I usually do. So let's just hang on for two minutes. All right, it's been two minutes. Let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee.
Oh man, I can't tell you how good that smells. Alright, that's how easy it is. And what did that take? For five cups of coffee, it took us uh, two minutes to uh, get it to start percolating. And another eight minutes to percolate it. There's ten and two minutes to let it drain down. So, what do you got, 12 minutes? That's not bad. And I love this coffee so much that I even make it at home. So this particular percolator gets used at least two pots a day. And I'm not a coffee snob, but I do enjoy a good cup of coffee and I even roast my own coffee. So hey, maybe that's another video. I'll show y'all how to uh, roast coffee over the campfire. That really gets the campground smelling good. So we hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, get out there and have a good time camping.